So as part of the ongoing um, efforts to see if we can get another few miles an hour out of the Zuma, um, we've installed, or I've installed I should say, a tack. That was about a fiver on eBay. I've just got to work out which of its five settings is the one I want. I think it's number three, but I'm going to try that tomorrow. Um, and what we're now going to do is something called the Sharpie test, which is what they call it in the States. And basically it involves putting a marker pen onto the variator, which will allow you to see how far the belt is riding up. Very simple job, should give you an accurate picture if your variator is working to its optimum ability. So what we need to do first of all is take off the, the CVT cover. So that's part number one. Okay, so that's the CVT, CVT cover off. So what you want to do, and I hope it's light enough to show you this, you want to get in here to where your nice silver variator uh, plate is and you want to put a black marker pen. You don't even have to take the thing apart. You just put the marker pen on it and what will happen is obviously the, the belt spins and for maximum variator power you want it to go almost out to the edge. So if that's working when we next take this cover off after it's next been for a run you should see only a little touch a black marker pen. I'll put this down a minute. A touch of black marker pen where I've put the marker. Um, it's hard to see with the light. Um, if you see more than that, if you're seeing a fair bit of the marker left coming from the outside in, then you've got an issue possibly with your variator. So, where's the Badly. So that's the plan. So that's the marker pen on. We're going to close it back up now, go for a spin uh, tomorrow. We come back tomorrow, take the plate off and see what marker pen is left on there. That's a simple way of testing if your belt is expanding to its you know, maximum capacity and you're getting maximum speed through the variator. Okay, thank you. So, a day back, uh, we've run the bike to work and from work, and this is what we're seeing. So, to me, there's still quite a bit of the mark there. I think you can see that, so we're okay. You know, it goes out reasonably far, but I would expect it to go out further than that. So what we're gonna have to look at is maybe investigating if we can just get a bit more performance out of the variator. So that'll pack to the the kind people on the various websites to see if they can give me any advice on that. Because I reckon that should be coming out by another, well, probably another three or four millimetres anyway. And of course the nearer the edge you get, the faster you're going. So, interesting experiment, that's how you do the Sharpie test. Um, to me, as I say, that could come out a little bit more. But as you can see, the belt's ridden up the variator, erased all the marker pen to the point where, uh, to the highest point it can get to, and that's how the Sharpie test works. So, interesting, something to work on there. Um, easy experiment for anyone to try. Put the cover back on now and start investigating. <laughs>